<laughs> Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Once again, I'm joined by my friend and fellow YouTube reactor, Domi. We are reacting to The Batman, the one that just came out. Neither of us has seen it. We're watching on HBO Max for the first time. Very excited. This is the second half of the reaction. So please head down before you watch this. There's a link in the description. Go watch the first half of our reaction over on Domi's channel. Then come right back here to watch our reaction to the second half and hear our thoughts about the whole movie, our discussion. As always, if you want to see the full unedited reaction and movie with us, it's up on both of our Patreons. And let's just get into the second half of The Batman. He's about to lose his mind. Take that, you psycho. Little do you know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh fuck. You are lucky you had your seatbelt on, Penguin. I will just say that. Yeah. Is he yeah, he's still alive, right? Because holy shit. Oh come on. That is awesome. The fire and the rain at the same time. Please. You don't get cooler shots than that. I mean <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> the hell is this? Good cop, bad shit cop. <laughs> Boy, you guys are a hell of a duet here. Why'd you start harmonizing? There's only one problem with your little scenario. <laughs> <laughs> you got any idea what Carmen Falcone do to me? Hide this He's not the rat. You know who? I think the Riddler might be the rat. Oh. No habla espanol. Fellas. Do me a favor, shithead. Shut up. Yeah. See, that's why their lead is wrong. Oh, you are L. Oh, shit. I almost found the next victim. Who's that going to be? Also, why does he need to be the one to put it together? Yeah. What is it about him making it into a game that he has to solve? Oh, what it. Okay. Is this theory crazy that Thomas Wayne was corrupt? His dad? Oh, please don't be. It was part of the Wayne estate. They donated it after they built the tower. Let's go. Okay. You realize I'm still here, right? <laughs> you guys hiding? How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? <laughs> I know Penguin is evil, but I kind of like him. Does that make sense? <laughs> oh, for sure. I like him too. I like him too. Because he doesn't seem to be as evil as he could be. He just seems like a regular kind of evil, if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Like an acceptable amount. <laughs> it's always do all what? The fuck? Oh. Not the song again. I know, I know. I'm like, it's a horror cue at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Where it all began. I hope it's not so Thomas he, Wayne. I, I assumed it meant that he was a part of the orphanage when he was younger. I know what it's about, bro. It is about planting seeds and renewing. You're so right. But is it true? Oh. Like, can we believe that? Or is he just... Is it upon the sun? Jesus. I kind of do believe it. Oh, shoot. Alfred's all by himself. Oh, my gosh. They can't kill Alfred in the first movie. I don't know anything about what happens to Alfred in the comics. Wait, are they going to have more movies? Oh, don't open! Please don't open a package right now! Oh, no, 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 no. Alfred, don't you dare. Alfred, no, pick up- The phone is ringing, come on! What? Oh no. <gasps> Fuck. No. About an oh shit. I've been trying to reach you. 
He better oh, not be dead. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Jeez. Okay, oh, maybe he's, he's still alive. alive, though. Yeah, I think he's still alive. Maybe. Okay. The fact that he's all Alfred has, but also Alfred is all that he has. Like, they're both. I know. I hate this. If he gets enraged, are we going to see a more unleashed Batman now? Now that they went after his family, essentially? Oh, we might, because it's starting to get real personal, right? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you need to write he's your notes out, big. Like <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's going insane now. And by the way, he said he didn't work out. I don't know if you heard Robert Pattinson said he didn't work out for the role. Come on. You worked out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're like bullshit. No. I want to know why a guy like Falcone would owe you anything. Because he's my father. What? Oh. The fuck? I did not expect that. You assume the worst in people. Which, well. Maybe we're not so different after all. What are you hiding? Are you just hideously scarred? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, emotionally, probably he is. Come on, vengeance. I like she calls him vengeance. Oh! Wow. Okay, I mean... Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I sent strong chemistry, but I mean, that... That's very definitive. Yeah. I can take care of myself. I thought it was sort of gonna be a little bit more of a slow burn, but um, we're doing it. I like how she kisses him, too. It feels very in her character, yeah. right? How Martha herself was in and out of institutions for years, and they didn't want- What? Wayne turned to longtime secret associate Carmine Falcone, and had him murdered! Oh. Ends of your father. Goodbye. He's too creepy. He seriously is. But also so unfair to make him pay for crimes that were not his. Who's Wayne? I want to see Carmine Falcone. Are they gonna let him in? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> they seem more shocked about him than about Batman showing up. Yeah. Give us a moment here, fella. Come on. I think he knows that Bruce knows. Be surprised. But even a good man like him is capable of in the right situation. I feel like you could say the same oh, about shit. Bruce. Yeah. And I believe him. I don't know how he's going to process this or what he's going to change now with this information about his father. His entire life just feels like a lie right now. So I'm going to guess not processing it well. And this is when he needs to talk to Alfred. And of course, Alfred is, you know, barely alive. So that one person he could lean on isn't there. I've been fighting for him. Believing that he was a good man. He was a good man. Yeah, maybe he's lying. Was a good man. I don't know. Didn't care about his image or the campaign, any of that. He cared about her and you. And in a moment of weakness, he turned to Falcone. Never thought Falcone would kill that man. Okay, good. I mean, yeah. He told Falcone he was going to the police. And that night, your father and your mother were killed. I think I think this is the true version. This is what I believe. Yeah, yeah. I saw the signal. That's not you. I thought it was you. Oh, what? Is this a setup? This is not good. Um... This is not good. Was it her? I see that. He had my shit, my phone. <laughs> Shut up. Put the gun down. I'm telling you, goddammit, she called me. Don't kill him. They need information from him, though. I know a lot of Falcon has wings, too. How cold is the rat? Oh. That actually could make sense, right? You think this goddamn election matters? Look, Holmes, man. 
He's been the man for the last 20 Shh. years. This creep too, let's finish this. No. no. She's just ready to do no. it. She's ready to kill. <laughs> Owns the city. Cross that line. You'll become just like him. It's the most Batman quote ever. Don't throw your life away. What do you do though if you don't go after him? He's gotta have a plan. I got nine of them. <laughs> There was some sort of glass there. What? We do it with her set. Bring the rat to the light. Oh. <laughs> Damn. That's awesome. Okay. I like how they're working with Catwoman, but she definitely is doing her own thing too. You know, like you could never fully trust oh, her right. to cooperate. And I like that she keeps calling him vengeance. Like she's trying to make him be something like he's not and you can tell that by the fact that she insists on calling him vengeance and yeah. stuff like that like means she and me tonight tell him it's about monica that will definitely get his attention i don't know if in a good way though yeah i was just hoping i could talk to you for a minute absolutely alone, alone? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very important man. I was hoping that maybe you could help me find her because she's. At least she's being smart. I just feel like she would have killed him by now. Oh, oh. Okay, come on, come on, be careful. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Girl, you still got like a clean shot. But if she kills him, then th there's no chance of finding the Riddler, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, for her, though, she lost yeah. her one opportunity to do it. I'm Maria Kyle's kid. You remember her? Yeah. Does he? Just put down the gun, honey. This is for my mother. What? Did she miss? I don't know. It like cut right away, I can't tell. <laughs> oh my God. The lighting in that scene, that scene was so awesome. So amazing. Oh. Oh. oh shoot. <gasps> oh great. Oh great. You don't think this hurts me? Oh, don't give me that. My own flesh and blood, huh? What the hell? <laughs> That's very cat of her. You made me do this. Oh don't give me this bullshit. Excuses. Mother. He deserved that one. Come on, you can make him pay. Just get the information first. Good. Okay, good. Except I still don't trust her. What do you, what do you think this is? You think you're gonna scare me with that mask? Uh, I don't know if you should be this comfortable with Batman. I'm just saying, I don't think you should. Whatever I've done, it's all going with me to my grave. I kind I'm of still believe not him. convinced he's the rat. Yeah. Oh, really? You don't That's think Falcone's the rat? Not a hundred percent sure. I know you boys in blue work for me. I mean, the Riddler is the missing piece. The Riddler is the missing piece because who is he and how yeah, does he know all of this true. stuff? And what's his motivation? Yes, we don't all work for you. Enjoy your night at Blackgate, Carmine. Probably be your last. Oh, so you're a big man. Shh. You always just a gimp in an empty suit. I'll spray paint your ass. Oh, Did they fuck. kill him? Oh no. I see blood. Oh no, he can't die though. They need him to find out the Riddler. Oh. 
This is, oh, wow. Is this some sort of code? Oh. So he wanted, the Riddler wanted to kill him. Gotta be a setup, no? I don't know. I don't uh, know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this is not good. The trust issues. <laughs> I mean, if he's making it this easy, for sure there's something bad. Even though the glasses, it looks like the Riddler. Shh, there's so many police. I just sorted a slice of pumpkin pie. That's who we wanted to see. Yeah. No, not that smile. Please what? no. What? I hate that. <laughs> what is that? Shh. I remember that shot from the trailer. But like, he's got some latte oh. art talent. You know, he has. That's one of his hobbies. Right? Clearly. Okay. This feels so jokery. You really okay with this? What about chain of evidence? <laughs> come on, come on. He's helped the case so much. Give him a little leeway. This one's not a rat. What is it? Oh. Oh! Okay. <laughs> what is that? Oh, God. This is freaky. <laughs> Some kind of pry tool? Uh... Wait, do you think he knows? Do you think he knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman? Is that what he's put together? Oh, he for sure knows, because the letter... I think I'm his last target. You. Yep. Maybe this is all coming to an end. What is... The Batman? Oh. That's not a good phone call. What is that? Yeah, <laughs> not a good face. You're a good cop. Why does that feel like a goodbye of sorts? Yeah, because he's so gonna be unmasked. It's like, how do you look friendly and terrifying at the same time? That face I right know. there. I know. It's the smile. It's the jokery-ish smile of it. screaming with rats chewing your fingers and every winter one of the babies die let's talk about the billionaire with the lying dead daddy because at least the money makes it go down easy bruce wayne stop saying it is batman no. gonna snap and like kill him or something? He wouldn't. I'm looking at the real you right now. My mask huh. allowed me to be myself completely. No shame. Oh. What did we just do? I asked you to bring him in the light and you did. We're such a good team. We're not a team. <laughs> oh. I'm not physical. My strength is up here. I mean, I... Dang, has he been using Batman this whole time? You showed me what was possible. You showed me all it takes is fear and a little focused violence. You inspired me. You're out of your goddamn mind. Pathetic psychopath. Begging for attention. You're gonna die oh, alone no, in our no, 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 no! Oh, nobody! Don't provoke him! I know. You don't say. They say never meet your heroes. We could watch the whole thing together. Watch what? 
everything. Oh god. Oh god. It was all there. You mean you didn't figure it out? What? What? Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. I get <laughs> What have you done? Okay, now he's singing his theme. No! <laughs> Don't! Stop! What if there's nothing? He said so much of it is like just the mental games, right? Joker-ish style. What if there's nothing? I think he and he's has just getting something. To him. I think there's something. Yeah, he's big. got it right. I just, I need, I need a bit of hope right now. I'm a little bit worried. I hope he's bluffing. I really do. What are you doing in here? Damn, just straight up ignores him. Okay. Hey man, I don't think that you should be touching that. Come on, be cool. Please be cool. Hey guys. Uh, thanks for all the comments and uh, a special thanks to everyone for the tips on detonator. For retribution. I parked seven vans all along the city seawall. to stop it oh great ah he's having so much fun i mean everything he planned it's worked we're not washed away we'll race through the streets in terror oh my and that's for all of you Oh my god. The fact that there's a community like helping him in this is so messed up. You'll be there waiting. Oh no, he's got everybody now on his side? It's like he started a real movement. What? Like they're imitating his look and everything. Lines are down. Hurry, hurry, you have to do oh. so That's good. You have to move fast, it's man. It's too late! It's too late! <laughs> What the fuck? It already has blood? This much blood? Don't let her get shot. Come on. Oh my god. I'm not going anywhere. We're under attack, man. Exactly. That's the problem with this city. Everyone's afraid to stand up and do the right thing, but I'm not. Excuse me. I mean, oh. Her heart's in the right place, but she's gonna- it is- she's gonna get assassinated, for sure. Yeah, but her heart. <laughs> Wow. Gordon jumping to cover her body. Right? Wow, he really saved her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Swinging on to hit the other guys. Oh shoot, come on, Catwoman needs to come in. <laughs> Ow! Oh shoot, he's exposed too, come on. Hey, how do I get up there? Oh my god, this man is not afraid of anything. He's legit like a superhero sidekick. Come on, you're not just gonna stand Come there. Come on, and watch. man. Smart, smart. Create your own type of darkness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, shoot. That one looks like it really hurts. Just saying. Come on, Catwoman, let's go. This man is so calm. Oh, nice. Wow, Catwoman does not skip any days at the gym. Coming in strong at the end. Oh, shoot. Come on, come on, you get some strength, Batman. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna die for a second. The way that she was talking to him? What is that? What did he inject in himself? Adrenaline? I don't know if I want to know. The fuck? My goodness. Uh... Wait, what does now? this mean she was involved? Am I going crazy? I, what can they even do to evacuate people? Damn. Okay. Scared me, man. I know. It's like the second time I was like so sure he was going to die. <laughs> oh. I like how initially hesitant, especially the adults seem to take help from him. Like, he's too scary of a figure. Yeah. They're like, are you really someone to help, you know? And it feels like it kind of reminds me of the parallels of the conversations with Alfred about Alfred wanting to help him, like him seeing the kid, you know, Batman as a kid. The city is underwater. The National Guard is coming. Martial law is in effect. But the criminal element Never sleeps. Of course not. I can already see. Things will get worse before they get better. In our institutions, in our elected officials, in each other. She's gonna be target number one, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Protect her, Batman, please. People need hope. To know someone's out there for them. The city's angry. This man needs to be stopped right now. What is it they say? One day you're on top. The next, you're a clown. Is this the Joker? It has to be, please. Gotham loves the comeback story. Riddler was creepy enough on his own. We do not need him teaming up with the Joker for more creepiness. The less of them you have, the more one is worth. <laughs> That's the Joker! The laugh! <laughs> They're bonding over insanity laughs. Do you realize that? <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, don't you ever just say hello? Of course not, he's Batman. Uh, yeah. Why don't you come with me? Get in some trouble. 
knock off some CEO hedge fund types. It'll be fun. It's interesting that he doesn't even need to say anything right now. Like she just knows he's gonna have to go after the signal. Take care of yourself. That's the closest Batman will ever come to saying I like you, right? I mean he's Batman. He can only <laughs> <Yeah>. like <laughs> She got it. She knows. She knows. I don't think she'd be one to also express her love this way. Like I feel like their love languages just match. Yeah, yeah. They'll meet again, for sure. For sure. Yeah, but it's still sad. Look straight ahead, bro. Well, damn. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was something. That was something. I mean, what'd you think? Just... <laughs> I feel like what really stands out to me the most about this is not only like the tonal shift that we were talking about, about it sort of being like a, I, how did you describe it? You described it so well of like the Zodiac kind of. Um, well, I, I think you, you pointed that out first. I think you were like, it's like the Zodiac. And I was like, exactly. Like it reminds me of so many crime thriller investigating yes. type of films, you know? Exactly. I feel like what stands up, like stands out the most to me, is just that it's so different than superhero movies in that sense. Yes. And also just the cinematography. I feel like I think it's Matt Reeves, right? I have the credits like right in front of me, so I can cheat. Yeah. Um, what he did cinematographically, I thought was so interesting because I think like the aesthetic of the movie to me was one of the most inter interesting things about it. I feel yeah. like the coloring was so interesting, so much yeah. red and just the, their use of light and stuff like that. I think it really stood out to me as like a very interesting, like well shot movie yeah. and creative. What about you? I got to hear your thoughts. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I, I overall, I loved it. I thought it was great. You know, like you said, just following like a mystery investigation with a messed up serial killer who every time paul dano's voice his face his mask all of it was unnerving and just exactly what you want in a terrifying villain that you're you feel like they're you're always a step behind you know like they're uncovering everything um i agree with you like the directing i was a big fan of especially the coloring you know, like there are just many shots where I'm yeah. like, oh, that's a beautiful visual. You can just sit still on that image. You don't need to do any fancy movement like that just works. The the lighting, which I think yeah. is so key in something like a Batman movie with so much emphasis on darkness. And they really nailed that with so many shots of, yeah. you know, characters just barely being visible or Batman coming out of the dark things, you know, that excite me as a fan of the character of Batman. Oh, yeah. Um, what do you think of the script? Like the so writing? many... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I thought you. it was interesting. No, it's okay. I, I was just going to say, I feel like there were so many lighting cues. And I like how there were so many times that it was like two different points of lights that looked like eyes the entire time. That stood yeah. out to me like throughout the entire movie. There were so many moments where I felt like I was being watched. And I feel like that just added on to the whole like theme of the movie and just overall paranoia in my yeah. part. Yeah. Um, but you were talking about the script. I feel like it was very interesting. It was different than The Dark Knight. And I, I try not, I don't want to compare it too much because I feel like just like when we watch The Joker, it's two very different things and it's yeah. hard to compare. Um, but I think that the script definitely had some aspects of it that I feel like I I can refer back to The Dark Knight. Like some quotes that just felt so Batman-y, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And I do think like we said, it's a completely different like style. So I feel like it was unexpected and it was interesting. And I feel like right now in the ending, that it seems like they're setting up the Joker, right? And like a partnership. Is there going to be a second movie? Do you know? I think so. I mean, I, I don't think anything's been announced as far as I know, but I would assume based off how mm -hmm. well this did and how popular it seems to be. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the script though? I really, I really liked it. Like it was very, very different, which I'm a big fan of, you know, a, this yeah. type of a story i really liked how they kind of with the line like the i am vengeance line which they use in the trailer i don't know if you saw that one where he had that but it was kind of a badass <laughs> you know it's like a badass moment and it kind of was badass in the movie too the first time he delivers it but i thought it was really cool how at the end like having one of those criminals say i am vengeance like was such a revelation yeah. and kind of completed bruce's arc of like 
that's not the type of inspiration I want to be. I need to learn, you know, how to save people in a different way. I just thought it was a very cool, yeah. organic way to see the growth of Batman, a younger Batman, like learning more about what it actually means to be Batman. Yeah, I I totally miss read that though. The first time I heard it, I was like, holy shit, wait, does Batwoman have something to do with this? For a second, I thought she was involved in it. Okay. Just because I feel like she's the one who was always saying that and trying to instill that, right? Okay. Because I feel like I didn't see this Batman as a super vengeful person in the first place. I don't know about you, but I feel like he was the one who was trying to talk sense into her. She was the one who was pushing vengeance onto him. No? Yeah, I'm, I mean, he definitely was, like, a, opposed to killing people. I just think his emphasis, like, yeah. from the opening kind of monologue that he says, where he's talking about criminals and, like, operating as Batman, and that first time we see them yeah. confront him, I think his focus was on how to instill fear. And by the end, he's like, I need True. to learn. Because remember, you noticed, too, like, how that, when he saves that guy who's about to get mugged, like, that guy is scared of him. Almost, like, indicating, yeah. like, he needs to be hope. For the good people more okay. than just fear for the criminals at least that's how i took it throughout the whole yeah movie, no you know? okay this makes more sense because i have to say the ending i was a little bit not confused but i just didn't see him as such a vengeful person but i feel like what you just explained right now i feel like perfectly encapsulates it the the change from fear to hope because they had a really interesting quote about fear in the beginning of the movie i feel like it was one of the first quotes that stood out to me uh -huh. but i feel like their realization that hope can be more powerful than fear is like a big one yeah right yeah i okay especially because alfred seemed like you know there's always that classic thing i feel like with alfred being like batman maybe you're being too extreme or not taking care of yourself but especially like that first conversation there seemed to be some tension almost like alfred is disapproving yeah maybe of some of the methods he's going about it and maybe a younger batman is like you know get off my back you're not my dad like i can do things my way yeah but i think he by the end maybe i don't know that that moment at least the way that i took it when he heard that guy say i am vengeance like quoting his badass line back in a horrible context yeah. like, you don't want to hear some guy who's an assassin who's on these message boards talking about like taking over using your quote you know yeah Totally. It's definitely a moment of realization for him. That's so interesting because it is with the, with the, oh my God, I forgot his name. What's the name the of the penguin? bad guy? Falcone? No, no, no. Like the, the Riddler. No. Oh the, God, Riddler. The, the Riddler. The <laughs> Riddler. I was like, no, the other one, the other one, the other one. Um, I feel like, oh, I forgot what I was going to say because I got so distracted by trying to remember his name. Shit. Oh yeah. It's like what the Riddler said about like him helping him right it, it, batman didn't notice it but he was feeding on to what the riddler wanted which i feel like is just incredibly disturbing yeah. but also in a way i feel like i get it now w with that ending with them repeating the quote back i feel like it makes sense as to how batman ended up helping the guy who he shouldn't have helped yeah. and didn't want to help yeah yeah what do you think of the riddler I thought he was creepy. I was waiting for some sort of connection, though, for us to understand a little bit more about him. Because uh -huh. I feel like, you know, okay, we know he was in the orphanage, but I wasn't sure if he was going to be a character that we know or something like that, or just, you know. But I feel like he was overall very creepy. I don't like that he has the same glasses as me, because that makes me <laughs> look like a psycho. So, um... <laughs> I guess I sort of like his stylistic choices and sort of don't. Um, but overall, I think he was a pretty creepy dude. Like, I just, I love this idea of speaking in code and deceiving. Yeah. And like, it's just something so like mysterious and just overall hella freaking creepy with all the cards that I really love about him. What yeah. about you? Yeah, I I was a, such a huge fan of him. I, I think this is the first on-screen version I've ever seen of the Riddler so I don't know how true he is to like the character in the comics but I love oh. this you know like you said like him playing with the games like felt so like serial killer like leaving clues wanting to watch yeah. along and like see his work play out um and then Paul Dano like when we actually got to see his face I don't I feel like a lot of times in villains they try to go for that un unhinged crazy vibe and it's a little bit like okay we've yeah. seen this before but his performance was so strong I'm like this is not try hard at all like I am scared of you yeah. I don't want to look at your face like that smile like you get like he delivered mm -hmm. to the point where I was so impressed 
I kind of think he might have been my favorite actor in the movie. Like, I think his performance was the one that I was, like, he genuinely scared the living shit out of me just by existing, yeah. kind of. Yeah. You know, so I think he did a great job. And I love what you brought up about the comments, comics. <laughs> Um, I feel like I didn't think about him as a comic. Of course, I should have seen. Like, of course, I should have known that he comes from the comics. But yeah. I couldn't imagine this movie not being done with this. Like, knowing the Riddler character, how could they have done this with a different tone that wouldn't be this whole like cop mystery zodiac kind of thing? I don't yeah. know. Like, it really, really matched so well that I feel like I just can't see another interpretation of it. If that makes sense, because it was just so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it, whether it's it's a faithful adaption or they kind of took their own new direction, I'm a fan of it. I thought it was very yeah, compelling. Same. And for if perfect as an opponent for a Batman who is such like a detective, which we've never seen to this extent, yeah. like even close. <laughs> yeah, that's you know. true. But I, I was a fan of the He's... whole take. Yeah. Like, it's interesting. I feel like I actually really like that side of him because obviously we know that Bruce is like super smart because of everything we've seen in the other Batmans, but I feel yeah. like using that intelligence in this way, in this like almost, you know, critical thinking sort of way is like really fascinating because I feel like this is also like a muscle. The more you use it, the more, like the easier it gets yeah. in a way. And I feel like you just really have to have a knack for it. And so I feel like it's very interesting to see him like that because it also makes his alliances with the police make more sense you know if he really has the brains oh yeah for this in a way you know and i i overall i really love the the relationship with the cops and batman throughout the film it felt very yeah. realistic in the sense that there was mixed receptions like it seemed like from cop to cop like you know <laughs> gordon obviously is helping him and i loved Especially the scene where he helps Batman escape, I was just like, "Wow, Gordon is such so cool, so cool." But yeah, <laughs> I just feel like it's, it seems realistic to me that there would be people who are like kind of in favor for Batman, maybe in awe of him, but a lot yeah. of people not. And how there's not a consensus amongst the law enforcement, like, "Oh, he's evil, we have to stop him," or "He's helping us, we have to help him." Like, they don't know. They never dealt with someone like Batman. So some people are like showing yeah. some respect. Other people are like, "Get this lunatic off my crime scene." And I wonder, what do you think about, you know, because right now, something that I was thinking about in the ending, when the Riddler is like repeating Bruce's name, is that the cameras were catching it. Do you think the cops saw it? Do you think any cops saw it? Do you think this could be a plot point for the next movie? Like, how did you see that? I don't know. I don't... That's a, that, I hadn't thought of that. You know, whether or not like that conversation was on record somewhere. If that's the case, hopefully they can go to the, the database of Arkham or something. You know, Batman can use some hacking abilities and wipe it. Yeah. But I, I think that's kind of a trend that villains try to unmask Batman. And if they are setting up for the Joker, it wouldn't surprise me if that's the direction they're heading to kind of expose Bruce Wayne now yeah. to all of Gotham. I mean, they have to be setting up for the Joker, right? That ending. It's. It has to. I, I take it know. as the Joker. Like, it, I would be very shocked Same. if it wasn't. I wonder who the yeah. actor who played. I mean, they hid his face so they can recast. But I wonder who played the oh. voice. You know. I have no idea. But I guess we can find out because now we can Google the movie and not be. Yeah, exactly. Story, exactly. So like, we can just we can Google it when we're done. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I can search Batman online um, without worrying about spoilers. <laughs> right. I do have to ask you though. What are your opinions on Robert Pattinson's performance as Batman? I was a really big fan. A really big fan. Uh, I think that he didn't overact it. If that makes sense. Like, it didn't, yeah. you know, he seemed very reserved, which, you know, maybe not the most showy performance, like, oh, these crazy emotions. But I really liked that choice because it felt so much more realistic and grounded for me. And you just had little hints, like every time he would glance at like a kid, you just see that on his face, like what that meant to him. And like you pointed out, like so many of the yeah. conversations with Catwoman, he didn't need to answer but I could see enough just from his face. And like to do that with the mask, without the mask, like that's not easy to do, like that non-verbal communication. So I was, I was just a big that's fan. Like, true. And I, I love the scene too, when he's scared of jumping. I was like, like that, 
I was like, this is great. <laughs> like he's Batman, but doesn't have it all figured out just yet. You know, I, yeah. I thought that was a nice touch. I feel like it's the hints to like, you know, Batman Begins where it's sort of him like coming to terms with his power, or at least parts of it, you know? Yeah. So I feel like the fear just comes naturally with the territory of figuring out how to be Batman. Yeah. What do I, what did you think? Did yeah. you buy him as Bruce Wayne? I did. I still like, I feel, because uh, it's Christian Bale, right? Who did the other one? Who did yeah. The Dark Knight? Yeah. I feel like I kind of lean a little bit more towards him, to be honest, but I still feel like Robert did an amazing job, kind of better than I thought. Like, yeah, it was very solid performance, um, you know, and I think that he definitely, like you said, I think he did, he was able to see a lot with his face. He really was. Yeah. And I really like the connection with like the younger kid who just, you know, almost feels like a younger version of him. I really like all of those scenes and how yeah. much the looks, you know, could, how much you could tell by that yeah you know yeah so yeah I thought, he, I thought he did a really solid job i was very surprised that is not the vampire man i know but it was yeah. cool to see yeah <laughs> but um what about catwoman thoughts on catwoman i really liked her as well a very different take <laughs> i think than we saw like from anne hathaway and i know she's your girl so i'm not yeah. gonna compare like do any uh combative no Anne Hathaway comments. slander or I'm deleting this reaction and just <laughs> yeah yeah but, but sure say your your lovingly opinions about Anne Hathaway um but but her like Catwoman in this movie I don't know she felt I keep using the term realistic but like without any grand type of origin story or you know I understood her connection like why she's mm-hmm. involved how she would have to figure out from a young age to survive on her own. And I just, I really like how she always has her own agenda. I think that's very true, at least my understanding of the character of Catwoman. You know, uh, yeah. she's wanting Batman to help her get her objective done, just like he wants her to help him. But they're both strong-willed and kind of loose cannons enough individually that they'll go after what they want. And if you don't agree with it, they'll do it on their own. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's true. I feel like they do have sort of matching personalities in a way. Yeah. Like I can see yeah. why they had a connection. And I like how well, like what you pointed out, I think she can read him so well. Like yeah. I like how she's like, oh, you come from a rich family and I just know it. I was like, okay, well, somebody knows how to really like yeah. read people. And I feel like more than just reading people, I feel like a big part of it is just being able to read him. Maybe a lot better than many people could and something that i thought was so interesting maybe my favorite part of the movie is how riddler says that like the mask allowed him to actually be himself rather than hide yeah you know and the fact that he makes that connection to batman being able to actually be himself as batman and i thought that was so interesting and i feel like in a way catwoman is seeing the real him and likes him for it and i feel like that's what's making their relationship so strong so i feel like this whole idea of the mask allowing him to be more him is just something i had never really thought about i think so that was like really really interesting yeah 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 no i I did really like that line from riddler and just thematically like the idea of you know expressing yourself when you're a little bit hidden in a very honest way the way almost artists can express them their true selves through art or something maybe some yeah you know Batman is Batman. And like you said, it's cool. Then maybe their their chemistry is is very um, genuine if they're seeing the real versions of each other, you know? Yeah. I feel like when you don't have the, the same fear of judgment, I feel like you can be more free. So in a way, yeah. I feel yeah. like putting that mask on allows him to have a level of freedom that, you know, he wouldn't have as just Bruce with all the expectations, you know, especially yeah, with all yeah. that. Because clearly everybody knows him and everybody cares about him and you know. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was interesting for sure. Yeah, that was very cool. All right, so that is our reaction to the Batman. Thank you to everyone for watching along. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we also reacted to the Dark Knight trilogy. Some We have a playlist, everything like that. You can check out if you do want to see our takes on other versions of Batman. That's always interesting. Uh, and let us know. Let us know what you thought of this in the ranking of Batman movies, what you thought of Robert Pattinson. Just I feel like there's a lot of cool things to discuss about this movie, so let us know in the comments. Uh, like we mentioned at the beginning, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction, it's up, up on both of our Patreon 
Patreons. Uh, thank you everyone for hanging out with us. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.